kind of the bridge here with Spirit of Wild Wings. While <coughs> it, we enjoy all the stuff we do in bushcrafting and survival training, things like that, it's also a passion for Sean and me. We're both chili heads. So we're going to institute a uh, series of discussions on hot sauce. So I've got a couple things with me I'm going to use today. <laughs> I've got a few different things I want to show you. Frank's Red Hot. Okay. This was. You put them here. This was the the hot sauce growing up. In my mind, this is still the hot sauce. This is what started me on it, and you know that commercial where you got the woman saying, "I put that meat on everything." You can put this shit on everything. At the dollar store, they sell. You can find this Cajun Fire hot sauce, and I use this stuff like mad. It's the same heat, almost the same flavor as Frank's. At the Big Lots, I found Louisiana Supreme Jalapeno. This stuff is a lot hotter than the cayenne sauce. This is probably on a par with, uh, on heat, with um, Tabasco sauce. I don't have Tabasco sauce to show you because I personally don't like the flavor of it. I'll let Sean do that part. Let me answer you. Now, uh, something I did want to show you are a couple of these. And as I do it, I'm going to bring out this one. This is liquid smoke. This is not a hot sauce, of course. Anybody who's cooked with liquid smoke, you know that you put in a pan of stew, pot of chili, just a couple of drops of this, and it's smoky. You use it sparingly. If I were to take and pour a teaspoon or a tablespoon of this, if I put this directly on my food, it's going to be way, way, way too intense. <coughs> this is made to put on my food. This is a condiment. This is made to put into my food. Onto, which is a condiment, into a spice or a seasoning. Here we have a couple of really fun ones. Liquid chili and, you know, citrus hot sauce. These are designed to put into your food. You can sprinkle these on as well. And some of it's been used. I'm not going to review these today, but these are just some of the things that we're going to have coming up. So we've got a uh, we've got Mexican hot sauces. Crystal Extra Hot. Each one of these we're going to do a review on in time. Here we have Spontaneous Combustion. This one is very thin and runny. This is a very hot hot sauce. I'm going to read you what it says on it. Danger, extremely hot, used sparingly. Okay. It says, uh, avoid contact with eyes and other sensitive areas. This is probably bordering the boundary between condiment and seasoning. <coughs> Here we have Blair's Megadeth. It's an all-natural thing, but Blair's tells you, by the way, this is 550,000 Scoville rating. This has rabbit habanero pots, cayenne chilies, white vinegar, natural pepper flavor, um, ancho chilies, chipotle chilies, molasses, guava nectar, fresh ginger, salt, and spices. So, uh, this is one that, because it's all-natural, we must refrigerate this after we open it. I don't personally like the, <laughs> excuse me, the flavor of this one. But Sean does, so I'm going to let Sean do the review of that one.
Here we have Wicked Tickle XXX. We got a chance to play with this the other day. And uh, the main part down here, deliciously painful. We'll be doing a review of that one. <coughs> this, which as you can see is almost empty. This is my absolute favorite hot sauce at the moment. This is made um, in St. Louis, Missouri, or that area. And this is Happy Dogs Hot Sauce. This is 135,000 Scoville. If you're a chili head, this has all your heat. Then, pain is good, garlic style, batch number 37, hot sauce. This is very thick and very chunky. We get the camera on a zoom in here. We're gonna look at these. So it's a tapatio. Salsa picante hot sauce. Serving size, one teaspoon, zero calories. Made of water, red peppers, salt, spices, garlic. Acetic acid, xanthan gum, sodium benzoate as a preservative. Okay, here we had the Blair's. Feel Alive, Megadeth. Frank's Original Red Hot. It tells you that uh, on heat indicator, or it just says original. <laughs> and, yeah. I think everybody knows Frank's. This is the uh, micro batch paint is good, garlic style, batch 37 hot sauce. Nutrition facts, gives you zero calories out of it. The ingredients, habaneros, water, carrots, garlic, mustard, um, spice, garlic, onion powder, white vinegar, olive oil, lemon and lime juice, and spices. So this one's unopened as you can see. What I'm going to do today on some of this, I have crackers. some potted meat. We'll take a little of the potted meat. And spread it on the cracker. It can when you taste this, you'll know what the flavor of whatever you're doing is. So then we want to, you know, give it a try when we put some up. Right now I'm going to go with my favorite. This is the Happy Dogs. And see there's a little on there. It has a very powerful heat and burn. It's 135,000 Scoville. Once you get past that initial burn, there is this wonderful garlic flavor. Um, this is enough vinegar and seasoning. This is a great flavor. Put this on a sandwich of some sort. This just makes it come alive, okay? That is just fantastic. I 
I suppose that a lot of people might, you know, balk at 135,000 Scoville. Believe me, it's nothing to to take lightly. It's very hot. Okay. We'll take some of this jalapeno sauce. Now, right now, it's going to seem pretty mild, probably, for me, because I just did the happy duck. So we got a good layer on there. Mm. Right now, I can taste the jalapenos. Fantastic flavor. But after having done the happy dogs, I cannot even detect the heat in this one. So, we're going to discuss this as chili heads. I'm going to tell you up front this is without a doubt my favorite hot sauce. I put this on lightly at first, okay? And then after you put it on, eat what you're going to eat. A submarine sandwich, something like that. Just put a nice little layer on it, a few sprinkles around it, and decide what you want. How much is enough? How much is too little? How much is too much? But if you're a chili head and you like flavor, this is the way to go. One thing I wanted to mention is the Scoville rating. It was named after the guy who came up with the concept and what Scoville rating is, it's a dilution factor. So if something is a one on the Scoville factor, it's one drop of whatever the hot stuff is or and one drop of water and you will no longer be able to detect heat. <clears throat> so if something is, well, let's say jalapeno, 3000 Scoville. If you take one drop measure of, ha of the jalapeno and you add 3,000 drops of water, so it's 3,000 to one, you will no longer be able to detect the heat from that um, jalapeno. By the same token, if something is 100,000, it would take 100,000 drops of water to neutralize one drop of that hot sauce where you could not detect heat the highest heat possible would be crystalline or oleo capsaicin resin and that's 16 million that's as hot as you're going to be able to go so when you see certain peppers that are like 1.5 million that is getting close i mean that's a tenth but you're getting up there into the theoretical potential for the hottest thing there is so anyway, I just wanted to let you know how the Scoville rating system worked.